Biligondulu is a beautiful weekend destination within 100 km from Bangalore. We have captured everything we could and will show you how beautiful this place is. So stay tuned till the end. Hello all! Welcome to the next episode of Weekend Destination Travel Vlog Team from Clickatel. Today we are going to explore another beautiful place from Bangalore which is um, within 100 km from here. It's almost 7.30 in the morning and we are about to start. Let's meet the team. Here is the entire team. Hi, they are busy in packing all the bags and all. There is Sribash. Sribash. Hi, Iman. Hi. Mobani. And here is my little daughter, Tini. Tini, say hi. Hi. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So guys, we are heading towards Biligondulu village and we are targeting to reach that place in around 3 hours. We are going to have a lot of fun today in this less crowded small hamlet in Tamil Nadu. We'll share all the information about this place like from where to collect the permission, Kurakel boat booking details, how safe this place is, what to eat, etc. etc. So friends, stay tuned and enjoy this scenic place which both visit over a weekend. <laughs> this is actually an entry point here. Mm -hmm. this entry point, they are checking your uh, vehicle details. Mm -hmm. And asking where are you coming from, where will you go? Okay. And they are giving this receipt. So this receipt you will have to show. You will see uh, two more check posts up front. Mm. So check posts you have to show this. They will allow you to go inside. Oh. And by the way, Hoganekhal Falls is closed. So if you are heading towards Hoganekhal, please check before you come. Hey guys, this is uh, completely inside the forest. This road is uh, Kaveri Wildlife Sanctuary Forest. And uh, I hope you guys can see the all the boards are given uh, there, uh, which indicates the elephants are there. So you have to be a little careful while uh, you drive from this road. And uh, the speed limit is also given around 20, 30 max. So yeah, please uh, be safe while you drive. So we have stopped here for a breakfast and our destination is around 9 to 10 kilometers from here. We'll have a quick breakfast, maybe idli, dosa, something uh, to check what is available there. And then again we'll start. And this place is also very beautiful. Uh, let's have a look of this place. What do you guys have ordered? Let's go, then. Almost 70% of this route is passing through the jungle. While you are enjoying the scenic view of this road, let me give you the route details quickly. 
From Bangalore, we have taken Hosur Road till Atibele, then have taken a ride towards Bhumnikal Road. Detailed route map is there at the end of this video. So keep watching. Friends, there are multiple hairpins and the road is really narrow in some places. So please go slow and enjoy the beauty of this place. We have to take ride from here for Bilingundulu boating point. Here you will get a forest check post from where you have to take the permission to get into the boating point and this Korakal boatman can help you to get the same. So we have reached. Now we are heading to the river. I'm sure. See I think you can see that's the river and we are planning to have a Korakal ride from there. Now let's try to catch some of these boatmen to know more about safety and uh, places where we can uh, do a camping and all. Let's go. We have to go Okay, thank you. Yes. Mike, now, how do you say See how beautiful this place is. Uh, we are only here, no one is around and I'm just having a quick look around. This little known place near Bangalore is perfect for a day trip with family and friends. It's a less crowded and so peaceful. You can enjoy different sounds of nature here like water is flowing, birds are chirping. And this beautiful Korakel ride, I'm sure you are gonna enjoy it. It's almost a 40 minutes ride, for which we have been charged around 1200 rupees, but that's negotiable. And boatmen are also very cooperative. After a beautiful Korakil ride and 10 minutes walk by the bank of Kabuli river, finally we have reached at today's camping site. It's an open place so you can choose your location anywhere on the way. Now Tini is setting up the light within the tent. 
Tini. Now it's tea time. Cheers. After that, we have to cook our food. Then we'll have a lunch first. And then we'll explore this place, roam around, and so chani, bete. It's almost 4 p.m. now, and time to leave. We have enjoyed a lot here, especially Tini. I must say, it's one of the most beautiful day trip we had so far. I hope you guys have liked this video. To know more about such beautiful hidden places, like and subscribe our channel and please, please, please collect your trash while living. Stay safe, be happy and travel more.